Hey everyone, in this video, I am going to show you a demo of AWS SageMaker Canvas. Okay. And if you don't know how a low code or no code solution works, then kindly ensure you watch this video till end. I have mentioned many times in my videos before as well. Overall data science industry is moving in an altogether different direction. And this is one of the important direction, which is low code or no code solutions. Let's go ahead and see the demo of AWS SageMaker Canvas. Okay. Let me share my screen here. And I will just go to my console, AWS console. And here, as you can see, I have opened SageMaker. On the SageMaker, you will see Studio, Studio Lab. And the third option you will see is Canvas. Okay. So if you click on Canvas, something like this will open. So what is a canvas? It says generate accurate machine learning predictions, no code required. This is most important part of canvas. Once you come here, you will come and click on open canvas. So when you click it first time, guys, it will take some time. The reason for that is um, it allocates many resources that you need when you are running your model. Okay, so it will take some time, but I have already opened it so that I don't waste time. And this is how your canvas will look like. Okay. Once you see this canvas, then on the left hand side, you can see models, data sets. And remember one thing, guys, once you open canvas, always log out from here. Otherwise, what will happen is um, suppose you, you forget to log out, right? So you will be end up paying for all the resources which has been allocated to you. Okay. So once you finish your uh, tutorial or once you finish your learning, click on log out. Now I'm inside this canvas here. You can see multiple data sets are given to me uh, for practice purpose. So I will take one of these data, for example, and here, if I move this picture here, you can say import so I can import a data very well. But for now, I will go here and click on, let's say canvas sample housing. So it will show me what this data has. For example, this data contains data on characteristics tied to given housing price. You can use the data set to predict housing price, etc. So this is the data which all of you are aware of. Basically, this is nothing but similar to Boston data. Okay, so I will just close this. I will click on this like this and I will say create a model. Once I click on this model, I will just say my model UFTS. This is my model. Okay, I will say create. At the moment I say create, it will ask me what is your target column? And what is that you want to do on this data? Okay, so let's wait till it is kind of analyzing and reading the columns, etc. So as I told you, all this process is, you know, automated and all this process does not need a single line of code. And that is the reason it will be if you see the if you see the, um, you know, uh, front end of this, if you see how it is designed, right, it is designed that a layman can also use. So it says you select a column to predict which column I want to predict. Suppose I want to predict median housing price. Okay, median housing price, median house value, let's say. So at the moment I select this, it shows me some distribution, etc., which I can analyze from here. And then it shows me sample housing data, multiple things we can do from here. As you can see this, I leave up to you to do the practice. You click on data visualizer and you can visualize data in multiple angles like you want to do. What I want to show you is how the no code solution works for model building. So you come here and you can click on quick model. There are two ways you can create a model standard build choose accuracy over speed building usually takes two to four hours. So I do not want to uh, pay a lot of bill basically to be very honest. Okay, so I will not run this. What I will do is I will say quick build choose speed over accuracy. I want to do it fast. Okay, so let me click this. Once I click this, it will take some time to build the model. Okay, and once it builds the model, then I will come back. I'm just pausing the video because I'm not sure how much time it is going to take. So I will come back once this part is done. So guys, the training is completed and now we have some interesting stuff here. Okay. So it tells me 43066. This model often predicts a value that is within plus minus this range. Okay. Of actual value. And it also gives me some interesting charts here if you see. So it is giving me the chart between various columns, how that impact the uh, impact our prediction. Okay. So for example, how the median impacts like this, how the population impacts like this, how the total room impacts like this and so on and so forth for multiple columns. Okay. So model is already ready in the backend 
and it tells me I can go ahead and I can predict. OK, so I will just click on either we can predict by clicking this or I will go here in this one. As you can see batch prediction or single prediction. So all the independent columns you put in an Excel sheet or CSV, you upload that CSV in batch prediction. It will predict for everything out there. OK, but suppose I'm interested in single prediction. So in single prediction, what will happen is we can change the value from here. OK, so just it is loading and then it will it will take one value and then we can modify those values. Suppose here. For example, the predicted is this value. OK, and on the left hand side, you can see for which for which values they, it predicted that. So if you come. Just a moment. If I scroll it left side. These values we can change. For example, median income is 2.875. Suppose I make it 3.875. Okay. And now I come this side and I say update. Okay. So it will update based on whatever the new value we give. And this way we can do a single prediction. And this way only we can do a batch batch prediction. I already told you upload that data. And visualization, anyway, you can do guys as I showed you. For example, here you can just in the build phase. You can simply go here and visualize the data in the way you want by clicking at data visualizer. So just do little bit of hands on on this drop column here and you can do multiple visualization here. Then it's easy to train your data. It's easy to build a model and from this part, it's very easy to create an endpoint for your model as well. OK, so all in all, what is what is that canvas gives you canvas gives you a platform to build a model, train a model and use it for your work without writing a single line of code. OK, so it's a very, very interesting and kind of new, I will say offering by AWS. OK, I just request you guys go ahead and try to get your hands dirty in this. It will help you in two ways. Number one, when you are going for interview. Number two, when you are going to give some demo to some clients or some stakeholders and you want to talk to somebody who is a business person who doesn't understand a lot of code, you can say, hey, if you are using AWS, there is something like Canvas where you no need to write a single line of code. Just upload your data and get your work done. OK, so I hope you like this video, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Please go ahead and practice. I will continue this AWS series if you guys give me good likes and comments. See you all, guys, wherever you are. Stay safe and take care.